what is the most common question you get about puberty as a pediatrician? Okay, so I get questions about everything all over the map. <laughs> but I'd say the most common is what is going to happen when? Like mm. what comes in what order? And the worst part about this question is that there is no answer. Yeah. Right? It's, it's different for everybody. Yeah. And it's totally unpredictable. And if you think there's kind of a staging like, okay, I don't know when I'm going to go get started. But once I get started, I'm on this path. Uh-uh-uh. No. Everything is different for everyone. Yeah. So it's a very frustrating question for most people. So would you say then that people who are listening and are curious, what they should know is that we could talk about a little bit of the signs of what happens, but it could come out of order or in different order. Yeah. And I would say it does come out of order for most people, but there are a couple of early signs. What are those? So I have this very close friend named Louise Greenspan. She's an endocrinologist who does all the early puberty studies. What's an endocrinologist? It's a hormone doctor and a pediatric endocrinologist is a hormone doctor for kids. Okay. Mm. So she does all of the hormone studies about kids who are going into puberty earlier because, you know, puberty is happening a lot earlier now than it used to. Mm. And we can talk about it, that if you want because it's interesting. Yeah. It's not happening faster. It's just happening sooner, which huh. is very mm. interesting. But what she says, and I love this line, she says, the first sign of puberty for basically everyone is a slamming door. Meaning oh. that your emotions you got are the first sign that you may be going through puberty. Because your hormones are starting to cycle. It doesn't matter your gender. Your hormones are starting to cycle. And they don't just mm. rise slowly. They rise and they fall and they rise and they fall. And it's not staying below your neck. All those mm. hormones are circulating through your brain. And so they impact the way you feel. And that means that a lot of kids will either get really frustrated and slam a door or start crying hysterically or start laughing hysterically or huh. start, right? It doesn't have to be bad or negative or sad. It's just big. It's, it's more big. extreme. Yes. Yeah. Oh. yeah. But does that make sense for you? Can you remember that in your puberty experience? <sighs> I don't remember like a specific moment, yeah. but I... Do you remember feeling big feelings? Yeah, I, I definitely do. And I say this a lot now. I feel like, honestly, I just kind of... I feel like I, I'm more aware of things, if that makes sense. Like, yeah. as soon as I started becoming a teenager, I just, like, everything started clicking in my brain. And I'm like, oh, okay, this is how this works. Okay, I'm, I'm a human. I don't know if that makes sense, mm -hmm. but it's just, like, everything started making more sense. <laughs>